Hey y'all, today we're going to show you how to make rolls in your slow cooker so it's one less thing you got to juggle in your oven, all while having a whole lot of fun. That was my toe! Those are not going in the slow cooker. And rolls take! No, I was going to say it, back on it! Hi, welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the Good Old Boy, and we are cooking up dishes straight from RecipesThatCrock.com, which is my beautiful wife's cooking blog. And today we've got another quick and easy real estate saving recipe for you, right here, right now. My wife is so loving that I keep talking about real estate, but really, it's important, especially around the holiday season. Today we're going to be making rolls, rolls, and a slow cooker. Real and estate. Rolls. That's right. We're here to save your real estate with these rolls. Folks, we're on a roll. I should have been a real estate salesman. No. No. We got enough jobs going on. <laughs> That's very much true. Very much true. We are finishing up a marathon of cooking today and we're only halfway done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what we need to do is get some rolls. Some frozen rolls. These are, well, these are rolls. The Just kind that have to raise. Balls of dough. Yes, they have to raise first. So, so that I don't put that back in there. I'll set this right here on my clean countertop. What do I need to do, love of my life? Okay, you need to take eight to 10 of those little balls of dough. Well, first of all, before you do that, take a sheet of parchment paper. All right. And place it in your slow cooker. And if you're like, hey, where'd you get them pre-cut sheets? I say, go to the link down in the description below and you can get them too. Yep. So just put it in there just like that yeah. where it fits. Well, I guess it could be folded over like that and it fits perfect, doesn't it? But then if you want to get your rolls out, you probably want to do it like that so you can grab the edges. There you go. Yeah. Either oh, way. I'm smart thinking. And then just we're like going to spray it just a little bit with some um, cooking spray. All right. Good deal. All right. And now you're going to take eight to ten of those babies and stick them in there. Yeah, they won't. And two, three, four, five. And a six, seven. Coupons! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Eight, nine, ten. And I'll spread those out a little bit because these are going to raise, and when they right. raise, they're going to. Yeah, you're going to. Kind of like I do over Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to heat it on low until they thaw out and raise for you. And right. Aunt Lou says it's really important that you're patient and let them fully thaw and raise so that they will um, be nice and fluffy mm -hmm. in the end. So this is raising your rolls. And then when we come back, we're going to show you what the raised rolls look like yes. that have been thawed out. And then we're going to go into the cooking of the rolls. And then we'll come back after that and, and we'll show you me eating them. <laughs> In three, two, one, and just like that, an hour has passed. Let's check on our rolls and see if they've risen. And sure enough, they have. Ooh. They're hot. Don't touch them rolls. But look, they poofed up. They're about twice the size of what they were before they started to come together and touch. Like I said, that's why you want to give them some room to start out with because they're going to swell up on you and they're going to start touching, which is totally fine. Now. The reason we did step one of an hour on high to let them rise was an hour on low. That was an hour on low to let those rise is because if you don't, if you just cook them, you can cook them, but they're not going to fluff up and things are better when they're fluffy. <laughs> and if you don't let them rise, they're going to be more like hard biscuits. And frankly, when you're having dinner, you want to have those nice, soft, fluffy rolls. So what we're going to do now is now you kick it on high and you cook it for an hour to 90 minutes. So this is where you want to start checking because you don't want to overcook your rolls. You don't want to burn your buns or your biscuits for that matter. <laughs> so we're going to check this in about an hour. And then if they're not done, we're going to keep a close eye on them just to make sure they get done. And we'll come back at the end of that and show you what a good roll looks like in three, two, one. And now our rolls are done. Sort of. They're done baking in our slow cooker, and they look exactly like they did before, but let me bring them out and toss them onto the cookie sheet to show you the last step. The bottoms are brown. Yep. I'm going to let y'all have a peek at my bottoms. <laughs> look at that. They're brown. Just like... <laughs> 
holes are supposed to be. They're hot. They're done. I'm going to separate them out a little bit. Now, they Ooh. could be even bigger and fluffier if you had done the, the last or the first step longer. Yes. Depends on how you want them. Yep. I want rolls, so I didn't want to wait. Yep. But they're not hard biscuits, neither. Nope. Now, I'm going to take me some melted butter. And I'm going to go over the top of each one of the rolls. And evidently all over the top of my floor. That's a tripping hazard, a slipping hazard. Don't step yeah, over I'll there. Yeah, come over here. We don't need a buttered puppy. <laughs> come here. Butter them up just like that. Each one just the tops. And I've got my broiler going in my oven. Now, and then what that's going to do you, is brown the tops. Yeah, you don't have to do the broiling step because that actually looks just plain delicious to me right now. It, it, I want one. <laughs> but I'm going to be good. I'm going to put these in the oven, in the broiler, and I'm not going to walk away because this is going to take Maybe seconds. seconds to do. <laughs> yeah. Not minutes, yeah. seconds. Make sure my pants are pulled up before we do this. <laughs> we appreciate your censorship. Yes, we're showing you rolls, not buns. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so I'm just going to put them right there. And I'm not going to look away. I'm going to keep watching the broiler. I'm going to watch them because all I'm doing, this is kind of awkward. They're starting to hurt my neck. <laughs> all I want to do is get that butter nice and hot underneath the broiler and we're using the bottom oven because we've got some food in the top oven that we've got from another show that we were taping and we're keeping it warm so it might take a little bit longer because the the rack is not as close to the broiler as what um as what they were would be on the top oven i didn't think about that until i turned the oven on you need to watch your rolls i'll be right back <laughs> already I can hear that butter a bubbling. <laughs> the dishwasher agreeing. That's the dishwasher, not me. The dishwasher is very important since we have been we've taped like six um, six shows. Six today? shows today. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This this is part of our marathon for the holiday season. Yes. I'm ready to collapse. And we've still gotta finish the rest of the shows. <laughs> you can do it, Mikey. You can do it. <laughs> I ain't no stopping now. I got all kinds of food cooking. I'm a little concerned it should be done by now. No, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. But not quite yet. And again, that's because I'm using the bottom oven and the rack's a little bit too low. But it's okay, because I'm going to keep paying attention to my rolls. I'm starting to see a little brownage on the top. A little brownage is going on. I know y'all can't see my oven right now. I'm kind of giving the play-by-play, -play, but I'm going to kind of move those back a little bit more to get those front rolls underneath the heating element a little better, because the middle ones are starting. There we go. There we go. I know this is all play by play. It's like listening to a game on a radio. All right, now the biscuits in the back have taken a browning turn. The ones in the middle are starting to catch up, but the ones on the edge are really starting to crisp up nice. The butter's a bubbling and the biscuits are a browning. Oh, wait, no, folks, those are rolls. <laughs> I think that is good enough. Home now, run. So bring them out. Oh. Oh, Thank goodness for the placement of the ninja. I'm just saying, <laughs> you almost showed it. So, we've been skin. doing this low-carb thing for a while, and now none of my pants fit. <laughs> but especially those right in the middle, I'm going to show y'all this in because this is the prettiest one of the bunch, kind of like in my family. <laughs> I didn't say I was the smartest one in the bunch. Those rolls are hot. Hot. Those rolls smell good. No, they're not those cross rolls. buns. Those Let me grab a plate so that I do this all proper. And disclaimer, these rolls are not low carb. <laughs> no, they are not. <laughs> but again, we're approaching the holiday season. Yes. And I'm going to allow myself to take a small break. And I'll clean that up later. <laughs> and I'm going to get me one of these rolls. And Show them how, how nice and fluffy. No. <sighs> Idiot! <laughs> They're hot. 
Bear with me as we do this. Wow, fluffy. Oh, look at that steam come off. <laughs> I don't mind losing the feeling in my fingers when it comes to eating this kind of food. Let's try it. They're fluffy. Are they? Mm hmm. They're real. Oh my goodness. <laughs> This is one of those times y'all are going to have to give me a moment. <laughs> have a moment of silence for the yeast roll. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to need another moment of silence. <laughs> but we'll do that later. So while, while, you're, while you're taking your moment, I'm going to share with them that we Can do... It, check the rules. <laughs> Not a problem. I'm on it. <laughs> Computer, stop. <laughs> she wants him to check the rolls. Um, but we, are, just to clarify, on the website, this is the easy version um, of, of rolls. We have, like, where you can buy the frozen yeast rolls. And Aunt Lou also has taken my mom's yeast roll recipe and turn it, turned it into, you can make them fresh or you can make them frozen, too. Either way, you're going to make them hot. Yes. What are you, are you you're, I'm like, breaking them up so they'll cool off. Oh, bit. okay. So, um, if you would prefer, like, from scratch, mm -hmm. we've got that too. And you can make those in the slow cooker. Um, Aunt Lou does that for us for our holidays. Mm -hmm. um, or if you want to take, uh, we we also clearly very much enjoy the frozen um, dough that is very easy to use that means you don't have to do all the from scratch with the yeast at the beginning mm -hmm. so two ways both can crock yep 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 very very good and again it's going to save your real estate in your oven until you need to broil them or if you don't need if you don't want to broil them you don't have to they're just as good you can butter them on top and they'll be great that just kind of gives them a little bit of a brown feature and makes them look pretty you know for the holidays. <laughs> but again, if y'all like what you're seeing, give us a thumbs up down below. And if you have not become a member of the Crock Posse, click that little button that says subscribe and you'll automatically be a member of the Crock Posse. You can also check us out over at patreon.com slash recipes the crock to find out ways to support this channel and what we do. And whatever you do, y'all keep watching and we'll keep cooking and all will be well. See y'all later. Bye. Did you hit Record? Mm -hmm. I think we did at the same time. I think we did. You know why? Because we're professionals. <laughs> we're on a roll. <laughs> hey y'all, we're hey y'all today we're gonna show you how to make slow cooker rolls. Hey y'all, we're gonna hey y'all today we're gonna show you how to make rolls in your slow cooker, so it's one less Hey y'all today we're gonna show you how to make rolls in your slow cooker, so it's one less thing you gotta juggle in your oven. Hey y'all! Oh Lord! Good. Did you shut your camera? Oh, I'm still recording. <laughs> you keep watching, and we'll keep whooping. <laughs> we'll keep whooping. We'll keep walking. 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 Walking.